In this video, we're going to demonstrate Clockwork Static Analysis working with Azure DevOps pipelines and how that can improve your development workflows. So first, a bit of an overview. We have here my Azure DevOps web portal with a project that I've created uh, to illustrate our integration analysis and differential analysis and how they can work together within pipelines. So the project has two pipelines defined. If I go to the pipeline screen, we can see those. We have a integration analysis pipeline. And what this does is it runs on the full um, master branch, scanning the entire project and finding any kind of pre-existing issues in your code, as well as any new issues that might get introduced. This is already run on the master branch, and we can see if I go to my Clockwork Web Portal tab, here we have the same project uh, scanned by our Clockwork Analysis tool, and we found a uh, various number of issues in the master branch that pre-exist. We then have our diff analysis branch uh, pipeline, and what this does is analyzes any branch that isn't the master. So we're going to analyze any sort of future branches, any developers branches, um, or any merge requests. So the idea behind this is that a developer can make a branch, they can then make some changes and commit to their own branch. We'll then scan using our diff analysis tool, which instead of analyzing the whole project, we'll just scan what files they've changed and check to see if any of those files contain new issues and provide that feedback to the developer. Once that scan's done, they're able to do a merge request to the master branch. Again, we can run the scan in the merge request and we can check for new issues at the merge point. Um, this can also then allow us to block the merge request if they're going to add new issues to the code stream. So this is what we're going to show uh, an example of now. So if I go to my repos and I go to my branches, we'll see here that I've already got a master branch set up, uh, which is what the integration scan has been run on. And then here I have a dev branch, which I have just created as a copy of the master. So if we click into this and let's go to one of our source files, Okay, so here we have a source file. And what I'm going to do is just make a quick few changes to it within the repo itself. And that way um, we can kind of illustrate a code change. Okay, so I've made a few changes to this file. Let's assume I'm maybe adding a new feature or fixing a, a bug defect or something like that. Um, so I'm now going to commit the file and you can see I'll just leave the comment by default to my dev branch. And you can see that I've then made that commit. So then what happens is the DevOps uh, CI pipeline will automatically launch for the uh, branch. And if I go to the pipeline section, we can see that it shows that the diff analysis is now running based on that commit. So let's click into that. So we can go on to the run, which is currently working. We have two steps to the run. The first is to actually run the diff analysis itself. And the second is to do a quality gate check. So the diff analysis is finished and it's now just doing the quality gate. If we click in, we can get further details on what's run. So we can see here that um, we first generate a list of changed files. So I modified this file here and we are generating that based off of the SCM tool itself. So we don't need any pre-existing data um, stored on the machine. It can work out what files have changed from the SCM tool itself. So we've provided that um, from 
as your um, Git repository. We then run the differential analysis tool. And you can see here that it's only analyzed that one changed file. It's done so very quickly, um, taking only a few seconds to kind of analyze that one change. From that point, we've published some artifacts and the quality gate check has run to see, have we added any new issues? And um, from that point, um, should we do any other actions? Now I've chosen to not fail the pipeline for commits to just a development branch. But what I am doing is opening a work item using one of the Azure DevOps um, tasks. So if I now go to the boards and go to work items, you'll see that I have a new work item assigned to myself. Um, so the way it's configured is to assign it to the committer. Um, and we can see here, we have a reference to the branch that I have created and committed to. It's raised an open work item for me to do. And it also provides me with the information about that issue. So we can generate the output from our clockwork diff analysis tool for the new issues in a variety of formats, um, JSON, XML, um, Sarif. Um, here, I've decided to use kind of more plain text approach and push it to the description of the work item. You can also add attachments to the work item. So you can see here, um, you can update and add the list of um, issues here. You could obviously attach various other different artifacts to your work item at the same time as well. Okay, so my code has a defect in it. So let's go back to the file. And so I'm in my dev branch and let's go and have a look at that issue. So if we go down to the crypto folder and then to the file that I had been modifying, we can then see that the work item told me that down here, we had a issue. So at this point, it was telling me that this pointer gets passed to this function, which then um, dereferences it. So what we can do here is obviously put in a quick fix to say, okay, we're going to um, check to see if it's null first before we then try and dereference it. Now, before I do the actual fix, um, let's create a pull request and let's see the actual blocking of this branch in, in action. So let's create a pull request off of this code, which still has the defect in. Uh, leave all these as the default to create the pull request. So here I've asked it to merge into the master branch and you can see it's now automatically running um, the diff analysis checks. So because I've created the merge request, it's going to run that diff analysis again and check to see um, whether it will pass the gate. As we know, it should fail. Okay, so the diff analysis is finished and you can see in the merge request that the failure is notified. And we can see that it says fail task as new clockwork issues uh, called from the merge. And it's also not letting us um, actually complete this merge request because the Azure project is set up to only allow uh, passing pipelines to uh, work through. We refresh the page as well. We'll see that it also links in the work item so we can see the work item that's associated with this merge request now. And if I click onto that, it takes me back to that work item that had been previously raised with the description of the issue. And you can see here on the right hand side, the pipelines that are associated with this work item. So you can see that it, it, it's failing our, um, our merge request. So, Let's go back and fix this issue. Okay, 
Okay, so what I'll do is edit this file now. Let's go down to where the issue is. Reported. And let's put in just a simple if statement just to allow this to pass. Okay. And so now I'm going to commit that to my dev branch. And what this will do then is automatically um, relaunch the merge request scan on the diff analysis. As the merge request is already open, it's going to automatically rerun the scan and check to see if that issue has now been resolved. So here we can see now the diff analysis is run and it has determined that we've fixed the issue. You can see if I refresh the page that the work item has now been marked as done um, based off of the pipeline. And if we go to the pipelines, we can see in the top here, the pipelines run. And you can see that it only took uh, a minute to do the uh, full check of the change. So it only took a minute and 22 seconds to do the, the analysis of the change, as well as creating and closing the work items, etc. in comparison to the full project build, which takes 26 minutes. So I can now merge the pull request as the pipeline successful. So you can see now the complete option is available to me. And I can then choose to obviously delete the uh, branch that I had been working on, the temporary development branch. So now I've completed the pull request that's merged into the master branch. And then what happens here is in the pipelines, we can see that the integration analysis kicks off a new pipeline. So we're going to scan the master branch um, as we've just added some code to it. And this creates a new baseline for our, our diff analysis step. So it's now going to analyze the full branch with the clockwork tool, upload the results to this web portal, and then that will be used as a new baseline for um, any other development branches to, to kind of base off. And now we can see the integration analysis is finished running. It's done the analysis of the whole project. If you click into that to have a look at this step. So we can see it does the build of the project and then it does our analysis. And you can see here, we are running through the analysis of the entire project. This has then loaded the results to our Clockwork web portal. And you can see that's loaded the latest build. And we can see that we've got no new issues. As we've already checked the results through the diff analysis, we've made sure that we haven't added any issues to the master branch. Thanks for watching. And to sign up for a free clockwork trial today, follow the links on the webpage.